Patch 46 is live now alongside Season 14, and we got a lot of small updates and changes. The donation box for new players is now set up outside Vault 76, new perk cards are now available, and the fast travel bug is apparently a thing of the past. In amongst all those though, we also got a huge update to camera mode. So today we're looking at the updated camera mode that added with the new update that would drastically change the way players can film their camps and take photos. We'll be running through how it works in camps, in shelters, and showcasing some of what is now possible because of it. So, a good starting point, what's actually changed? When activating camera mode within your camp's build area, the old limitations are now relaxed and you'll be able to pan around to the full extent of your radius. Outside of your radius though, camera mode will actually remain the same. That being said, simply being on a public or private team with another player will actually allow you to use the updated camera mode within their camp. If filming your camp isn't really what you're looking for, and would rather be taking pictures of something else, then you can also use the build area to your advantage, setting down your module to take photos using the updated functionality. A really welcome feature with this as well is any adjustments within the camera mode setup, whether it's depth of field or any colour changes, will remain whilst you're filming. So no more exiting and having to reset everything multiple times. Taking a look at some camps now, let's test what we can achieve using the new settings. In days gone by, I'd be heading over to a custom world, messing around with the floating temporary scaffolds to get shots from the right height. No more though, as in one take now, you can move around the entirety of a camp, weaving in and out and changing your height with ease. Something to consider though is if you do have access to custom worlds, it's probably still worth filming your camps over there, because alongside all the advantages you get with being able to change the weather, changing the build radius to the max will increase the extent that you can film too. Sky camps in particular seem to benefit massively from this. To finish up, heading inside a shelter, and yeah, the same rules apply. If it's your shelter, or you're on a team with someone else, you can use the new camera mode inside. That's it for now though. Just a quick video running through the new camera mode, but we'll be back soon with some content taking a look at the latest camp ally, the new kitchen set, and some of the latest camp objects added with Season 14. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new update so far, and what you're planning to film. To finish up for today, here's a compilation of different camps filmed using the new camera mode.